crop production management. Once the best seeds are sown, we expect best crops to grow. For this to happen, crop production is necessary. In this step, nutrient management is the first activity. Plants require nutrients for their growth and development. Air supplies carbon and oxygen, and water supplies hydrogen and oxygen as nutrients for the water for the plants. The nutrients in the soil can be classified as macro or micronutrients. Macro nutrients are the nutrients required by the plants in large quantities for their growth. There are six macronutrients namely nitrogen, phosphorus, potassium, calcium, magnesium and sulfur. Micronutrients are the nutrients required by the plant in small quantities. There are seven of them. Iron, manganese, boron, zinc, copper, and chlorine. How can we provide nutrients to plants? We can enrich the soil by supplying nutrients in the form of manure and fertilizers. Manure contains large quantities of organic matter and biological waste. The first type of manure is compost, which is obtained by decomposing farm waste material like livestock excreta. If earthworms are also included which hasten the process of decomposition, then the compost is called vermicompost. The second type is green manure, which is obtained by mulching, that is, covering with grown plants like sunhep and plowing them into the soil. These green plants turn into green manure. Fertilizers are commercially produced water nutrients. They supply nitrogen, phosphorus and potassium, that is NPK. They must be applied carefully. Excess fertilizers can lead to water pollution. Farming done with no chemicals or minimal chemicals is organic farming. It is a farming system with minimal or no use of chemicals as fertilizers, herbicides, pesticides, and with the maximum input of organic manure recycled from waste. Use of bioagents and biopesticides like neem leaves or turmeric for grain storage with healthy cropping systems.